Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, it's a beautiful Friday. Wow, we even have charged batteries. Um, it's been kind of like raining for five minutes and then nothing for an hour or two. And then it kind of, not rain, kind of drizzles. This morning it was doing a whole hail thing and it stopped that finally. So, hopefully... The ground will dry up and I'll be able to play. Yeah, that's a Yamaha. And I got distracted. So I stopped working. Well, I dragged it over to the door. Then I got distracted because I was looking for throttle cables. And then I wanted to do a video for Nathan. And then whilst I was messing with throttle cables. And I got distracted by this thing. And here I am. Anyway, the first thing I always do... When I want to come up with linkage or I'm thinking of a project or whatever else, um, I take a ride up to P&T Surplus. So before we get into the details on that guy, I, um, I go up and, you know, grab everything I need. Sometimes it takes three trips like this stuff did. Um, and I bring it up and I put it down and Tim looks at me like I'm crazy and then I ask him how much and typically he gives me a really good price on it so like I picked up all this stock two, this thing was three this was two this was four it's got a little twisty thing on it right I don't know how much this was and then um, these guys these are solid so I picked up a few of those and then um, same size but hollow and I picked up a bunch of those then I went with a little bigger and then I went with a bunch of threaded rod right I don't know they're probably two foot long and then I picked up a bunch of springs so I pick up all this stuff and um, they have a dollar tree up there that's a pretty good size one so I picked up a doggy cable and you guys could see I used part of it already and given all that and that while I was up there I caught up with a friend of mine and we had lunch at McDonald's and then um, I brought it all home and spent last night thinking about all the little pieces and gizmos and springs and all the crap I had and this is what I came up with this square thing here is a piece of the hollow square stock and what I did was I put a slot in it obviously so this looks like a fork and if you look at the end of it down there you can see I drilled a hole through it I'm sorry I drilled a hole through it um, and drilled a hole through this pivot obviously right thing I'm shaking then I put um I, I used um, lock washers, but I straightened them out so there was no tension on them, so to speak, as spacers. And so that's my pivot. That bar down there on the bottom, that was part of this TV stand. Right, and you could see, as a matter of fact, where I cut the TV stand off. So that was part of the TV stand for the bar. So that bar goes up to the gas pedal, and you can see when I s step on the gas pedal, so to speak, it moves that. Um, I was going to play with cables and all that. Then I was I was looking at this, and I'm like, boy, I can I can screw the hand throttle right to this bracket here, right? I could screw that right on, and not have to cut or mess it with anything. So I just drilled a hole through it, ran a piece of wire right to the lever, ran a spring so the whole thing returns, right, and now I have throttle. When it comes to brake, you guys remember there were two cables, one went to each back wheel back in the olden days, but when you stepped on the pedal, right you would you would basically pull on the cables well I got rid of all that extra stuff and just hooked it to one cable and you guys could see when I right I should actually throw a return spring on this so this kinda comes back a little ways um, and then 
So now we have brakes. So I have brakes and a gas pedal. All I have to do is get everything out of the way and go charge my battery because my battery is dead. Um, it'll be winking out on me shortly and we could take this thing for a romp. I also put um, the remainder of my Jack's can in here. It's not completely sealed up. I could go empty another Jack's can. Um, it's a shame I really don't drink. But um, yeah, I gotta go or go through the garbage and get an aluminum can because I, I do need to, or the recyclables. I do want to seal this better. And in here, I just jammed, I don't know, an eight horsepower uh, Briggs and Stratton muffler. So let's see if this thing is gonna behave. Uh, gas is on. I don't know. I guess I should choke it. Right, and... So, from right back here, I can give it gas, or... Obviously, I can just... Obviously, as you're laying things out, you want to pay attention to little things like is my throttle cable up against my exhaust system, right? And in this case, it's not up against the exhaust system. Also, if at all possible, well, forget if at all possible, if you want it to work, you want a nice, gentle arc. Um, even as I put this whole thing together, there's little things that are going to be a little bit problematic and by little things I mean particularly when you look at the height of this compared to that it is going to kind of be pressing down on this so I might have to um, I might have to build the seat up another inch you could say well you screwed up when you put the engine in you should have put the engine in deeper but the engine is already out the bottom a bit. I don't know, can you guys see the bottom of the engine? Uh, where's my zoom zoomer? There you go. See, that's the bottom of the engine right there. And I really, I really didn't want to be cruising along and, uh, and catch up with a rock and get into trouble. Um, obviously, I think I showed you guys the video. I did the oil seal on this. There's an occasional drink of drip of oil, but the rope is quite saturated. Right? So I, I think, I think that's the oil dripping off the rope. My battery just went into critical stage, so. Um, I wish I could take you guys for a ride, but I get a dead battery, so I can't. Um, anyway, I want to just thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and get out there and enjoy all your days. Don't forget to have, a, have fun. And once again, any questions, uh, please ask. Take care now, folks. Bye.